Hey friends. Hi friends. How is everyone on how this is, hump day? How is everybody? How are you? I'm I know you've good. been busy. Yes, it has been very busy. I um, went yesterday to a story which is so just, I don't, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Um, this 14 year old, he, you know, there's been more than 40,000 people killed in Gaza, not to like dim the mood down here, but it's just the reality of the situation. And they, one of the 14 year olds who was injured in a bomb blast back in April, finally made it here. He lost all of his limbs and he's gonna be getting medical treatment. And um, it's just so sad because he found out this morning that several of his aunts and uncles were killed overnight. So it's just, mm. it's, it's a lot, but you yeah. know, the positive with this is that he's getting the treatment that he needs. He's in safe hands. And um, I think it just also sheds a light in the fact that what is happening around the world, I know that we keep it lighthearted mm -hmm. and stuff and it, that's great. And trust me, this show is really like therapy for us, yeah. I would say too. Because and hopefully for our viewers just to have something yes. fun to watch. Yes, yes. And, but we are not, you know, we are cognizant about everything else that's that's going on in the world and it affects us too. Yeah, sometimes when we're, when we're even putting together the show, it's like, okay, should we put this in because we should address it even though yes. it's not like our vibe. we talk about. Yes. So, yeah, we do think about all that and I, I know you're gonna do a great job with this story. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, I've started posting more on Facebook because I've been um, very not good at that. So I have been starting to post more and I posted this story. So if you wanna go to Rashi Vats Fox 26, there's a shameless There you plug. go. Um, and I'm responding to comments, friends. Um, and so I just interacting more, which I haven't done a great job of. So um, a lot of people have been saying, thank you for shining a light on this. Not being, you know, either pro Israel or pro Hamas, whatever it is. It's just people that are, I, I put on there, children should not be hurt or killed. And that's fact, that's not political, which is true. And so um, I think that the story is going to be good and, and hopefully impactful. And uh, that's a strong boy there, 14 years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the video that you showed me was so emotional. Yes. It's and hard it's so not hard. to get choked up. Yes, it's just so difficult to cover these stories and even read about them, being a parent or not a parent. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard. But and there's even been some tough stories lately locally, mm -hmm. too. It's like there's just a lot that goes on in this world that makes us think, how lucky we are to be yeah. sitting here and doing this and yeah yeah it's, and then it's I know that people get riled up also because of this is like the political season and and all kinds of things happening on both sides of the the spectrum so it's uh it's a tough time but I think if we just stay in the middle of the hurricane in the yes. eye of the storm <sighs> we're gonna be calm I know all right well I have some fun stuff for us okay. to talk about All right. Today. Okay, okay. And this first story is for you, not because you like whiskey, but because you're a Beyonce fan. I am. So Houston native and Grammy Award winning singer Beyonce is adding a new trophy under her lineup of, you know, all the yes, accolades all that the she things. has. Yes. And it's actually for her new liquor line. But Beyonce, she posted on her Instagram um, that she launched this brand new line called Sir Davis. She named this drink after her great grandfather, who was a successful moonshiner during Prohibition. But before she launched, her team anonymously submitted the whiskey to several spirit competitions where it won best in class for American whiskey and a gold medal from the New York International Spirits Competition. The whiskey hits shelves next month with a price tag of $89. So we had this in our news meeting we were talking about. Yes, I have so much to say. I have so much to say. Okay. okay. Um, you want to go first? I don't want to steal your thunder. Go, oh, go for there's it. There's no thunder to be stolen, my friend. Well, um, I think this is genius. And I'm not just saying this because she's Beyonce. Mm -hmm. First of all, what a great marketing and just business strategy to anonymously throw it out. Th like if homegirl Caroline Collins were to start a makeup mm -hmm. line, which I think she should, then I would think it is smart to not put her name behind the makeup line, but actually have just a bunch of people try some products and see what they like, see what they don't like. Because, you know, Caroline has a lot of fans and followers with, you know, when it comes to all yeah. the makeup. And if you're and making stuff, something good. If you're making something yeah, good, then it's like, name. I don't want this to be bought because of my name. She always talks about, first of all, I would try whiskey. I don't drink whiskey, but I would try it for her. She talks about um, whiskey. That's what her dad used to drink in a lot mm -hmm. of her songs. So this is, there were people um, commenting that she could obviously just give some money and someone would do this for her. Mm -mm. But no, you 
you have to, if your name is going to be behind mm -hmm. it, then you need to be 100% on board with it. Yep. You might not know anything about whiskey, but you better know how to make something good. Yes. Um, first of all, we're talking about Beyonce here. Beyonce is so strategic mm -hmm. and has her hand in every part of the process for everything that she does. Her music, her music videos, her wardrobe, her tours, everything. Beyonce is fully involved with it. We've seen it in her documentaries, right? Yes. Beyonce is where she's at today because of her work ethic. Yes. Now, this whiskey coincides with the launch of her country album. Mm -hmm. So that branding right there, she's already thinking about how to brand this whiskey yes. country. And then I am just so certain that she, I just know she she's beyond the point in her career where she just needs to slap her name on anything to make money. Mm -hmm. Like this had to have been something that was thought out and thoroughly planned by her. And I would imagine that she would be at least Obviously, she is probably not the whiskey maker, but she probably had every bit of say in what it tastes like, notes of this, what you know, like. that, yeah. the design, and this is something that I think that believe that she wanted to do. I mm -hmm. don't think that this was just like, oh, here's some money and let's do it. This is too strategic, the packaging, the marketing, yeah. the Instagram. Beyonce doesn't just post anything on her Instagram. Right, right. This is Beyonce that we're talking about. This is a level of excellence that yeah. we are talking about, and I just, love that she was like i want this whiskey to be treated like mm -hmm. any other whiskey and they threw it in that competition or competition i think that's a very good business move and i will say being a beyonce fan i don't like a lot of her songs mm -hmm. and i know there's people in the newsroom that might be watching right now like oh my god rashi well but they respect yeah, the fact totally. that like yes you don't i don't beyonce like a lot of her songs is, has a lots of sounds for a lot of different people yes. and a lot of different times of Right. your life I would imagine you were pretty young when like her first solo stuff started to come out yes and you know I will say this is me personally just me she came out with her um house of Darion her um the Darion brand of like wardrobe with her mom and mm -hmm. and it wasn't like the best thing ever and I don't think it was very highly successful yeah what wasn't really highly successful was her perfume and I didn't like the smell of it yeah um I bought I it I know but she it had to sever ties with was it <laughs> I forget what brand, I think it was Nike or Adidas because that wasn't being very successful. So it's it's ups and downs, not just- I think for everybody, yes. not just for her. Um, you know, you could see this with like Taylor Swift or something, you know, yes. it's just not, I keep reading these memes that show how many songs these artists have and then the percentage of hits that they have and it's mm. crazy. They have so many songs, but only you know, this amount of hits, Drake, Taylor Swift, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. So it's like not everything is going to work out 100%, yes. but at least they're trying. Yes. I'm not, I definitely wouldn't knock the whiskey because Beyonce is behind it. Mm -hmm. I would, if I was a whiskey drinker, I'd give it a fair shot. Mm -hmm. Kendall Jenner has her tequila brand 818. And I guess, it? I guess it's really good. Oh. I have had it, but I don't know. I don't know anything about alcohol like I'm, I don't either but I'm not the one that to sit here and be like oh it did it had yeah, notes yeah. of this and that so if it tastes good I like it yes I um I, I I I do like drinking wine and I went to this one wine I don't even know what you call it some fancy word and they had like $300 bottle wines and and they were the people were like smelling it a different way and you're supposed oh to like, yeah you're supposed to like do something with their lips to like this I don't know to, to drink anyway it's a whole nother thing but we like our alcohol, um, whoever's name's behind it. I love Terramana Tequila because it's with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm literally looking up George Clooney. Remember he had his yes. tequila, wasn't it Casa Amigos? Something like that. And yeah, he yeah. sold it for like a billion dollars. Yeah. I so mean. it can be profitable done right. My thing would be even if I was a very highly successful pop star, actress, you name it, Beyonce type of person, I think it would be very hard to break into the already saturated market of liquor. Yes. And so I think when you're entering a space like that, you have to go in with the expectation that whatever you're making is going to be excellent. Yeah. Because people just aren't going to buy it. Right, right. But yeah, Clooney like sold, I think that, I think it was Casa Amigos. Whatever. I For mean, like a billion dollars. Yeah. I mean. And then gave a lot of his friends like a million dollars because. Well, he has a billion. That's amazing. Yeah. That's very nice. So. I want to be his friend like his lifelong good friends oh yeah well. that's like the story that goes around but anyway i think that you got to give it a fair shot now i'm intrigued 
what kind of drink would you make with whiskey, by the way? Is that I like a... Know. I mean, I'm sure everything goes with orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, or lemonade, lemonade. Lemon. Oh, funny, that's like a Beyonce song. Well, also, <laughs> she put whiskey in... His in my coffee. bones. No, whiskey in his coffee. That was a, a lyric oh, yeah. for him. Well, for this, daddy lessons. Yes. This um with whiskey in his coffee, his hand on his oh, gun yeah. or something like that. What is it called again? It's Mr. Davis or Yeah, for Sir Davis. Right for the grandfather. It's mm -hmm. for a grandfather and if you listen to her, some of her songs, like she she quotes we, whiskey and I Sir have an Davis. Idea. Friends, we should buy the bottle. Expense it because it's a company expense. And try it. And try it. And yes. our faces, we, I mean, we like the, the sugary well, now, drinks. Well, like, well, what drinks are made? Is it old, old fashions? Are those made with whiskey? I don't know. What? Whiskey, whiskey on the, you know, Isaiah Carey drinks whiskey like neat. Really? Yeah. Tastes like nail polish remover, I'm sure. Ugh. Oh, old fashions made with bourbon, which is different than whiskey. Yes. 21 whiskey cocktail recipes. Well, all right. We'll stick with our classic mint julep. That's what I was trying to think of. Oh. That's made with whiskey. That's what you would have at like the Kentucky Derby. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll try Kentucky whisk Kentucky and whiskey. That's like a thing, right? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we're not alcohol connoisseurs. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> The I was tea. surprised. The tea. We were, when we heard this last night, we were like. Because whenever I hear rumors, I'm like, it's not true. It's not true. No. I kind of, I personally thought that this one was pretty true. If you haven't heard already, Jennifer Lopez is officially filing for divorce from Ben Affleck after two years of marriage. Mm -hmm. Breakup rumors have been circling for a while now. The pair appeared to be living separately. They first got engaged in the early 2000s and then they separated years later, blaming pressure of the public eye. They were reunited two decades later, and they married in 2022, but it seems they just cannot get it right. She has filed for divorce. Jen and Ben are done once again. You know how I've always felt for during this whole time is Jennifer Garner. 
I know, I was thinking that too. And I- Ben Affleck was married to Jennifer Gardner yes, and has children with her. Three children, and she has just been such a constant light on Instagram. You know what, like, I was just gonna, she's a great example of demure. She's very just poised, calm, yes. like, has this whole demure head thing on. is like gotten out of control. But that's what she is. I know, but I'm saying when people say it, like especially people with like annoying voices, they're like so demure. Like Khloe Kardashian, her voice is annoying. Don't you think so? The way she talks sometimes. I know you love the Kardashians. I'm just saying, she's like so demure. I just love. I think the Kardashians impacted a whole generation on how they talk. Because so many people kind of like see the Kardashian thing. But anyway, yeah. Jen and Ben, um, I'm not surprised. J-Lo, girl, got to figure some things out. I don't know. Like, she might be the issue. The reason I say that is yeah, because I Yeah, no, I agree. I That's why she needs to figure some things out. Oh, yes. We, yes, need, we yes. might need to do some therapy. We need to be more. She apparently comes to wherever she goes with more security than the president. Yeah. With more more of an entourage. Yeah, you don't need all that. You don't need all of that. And I don't know who you think you are. Like, I guess if you treat people bad, um, and I have I have just heard just saying that she's not the nicest person. Um, it, I thought her and Alex Rodriguez were gonna be together forever. I know, they were cute, remember? They were like yes. so popular as a couple. Yes. And you know, Jennifer Lopez has children with her is it her first husband? I forget his name. I don't name. know if it's Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony, Not thank her. you. I, I love how you knew that. Yeah, girl, it's like I have the. I love it. No, I, it, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have thought of it, but yeah. Yeah, Mark, Mark Anthony. Anthony, so they have, and the thing is that um, you, you all might not know this, but they're, so Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck have three kids together. One child, Finn, um, it, they, have the pronouns they them now so they identify as the opposite uh sex i believe so um and j-lo's daughter is the same really yes i didn't know that so her daughter her daughter so oh. her um emmy i i think her name is emmy yeah is the same and um so finn and i think her name is still emmy are close so oh. you'll see a lot of pictures of them together and i think it's because they were able to transition like that together um so i, I didn't know that there are some articles on that because oh. now yes all anytime they talk about jennifer's daughter or jennifer garner and ben affleck's i'm saying daughter but you know using the they both use the pronouns they them even the parents yeah. do as well now for those kids. So there's that common denominator and they're still very close. So I just want to put that. Wow, yeah. that's, see, and it's just is like so interesting because Jennifer Gardner and Ben's kids are friends with Jennifer Lopez's and Mark Anthony's kids. And it's like, there's just like more than just Jen and Ben here. Like, yes, this is families that we're talking about. But that was also the case with Alex Rodriguez. He has two daughters. He does. I was just thinking that. And we all saw them together like yeah, during the Christmas pandemic and, and everything. And it's just, so you know, when you, when you're, when you have families, that's, yes. it's like your date, your, your family's going through a breakup now. Right. I, mean, I don't right, know. Right. I mean, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Not saying that that's, that's a reason to stay. I'm just saying it's complicated. Yes. Yes. Definitely. And there's a lot to it. Well, at the end of the day, whatever makes them happier. And uh, that's true. I'm sure both of them are not done in terms of dating. But Ben Affleck, he's just always mean mugging and he always looks so irritated and miserable. Like, <sighs> I know, I know. And Jennifer Garner is always like Doesn't. happy and, you know, good for her. Yeah. 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 Very interesting. Well, you know, at least they gave it another shot. I think that this could be a message, okay, for any women watching. You know, you go through breakups and you move on in your life mm -hmm. and then maybe you like got a divorce or maybe you're still single and you're thinking back to this guy that you were probably really attracted to because Ben Affleck is very attracted, yeah. attractive and you had this like great chemistry and mm -hmm. you were maybe with them for a long time and then you broke up and look in this situation, yeah, what they what experienced yeah. the first time around was what they experienced the second time around. Yeah. So maybe it's best to just leave it at that. Yeah. Find somebody else. Find some fresh meat. <laughs> what I meant is like, you know what I mean. We'll be right back. <laughs> I said we'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back. Bye. <laughs>
If there's one thing about Rashi and I, as soon as the newscast is over, we are taking these high heels off. Yes! And we are putting on tennis shoes or sandals. Oh my sandals. gosh, every single time. Yep, it yep. never, I mean, that is routine every time. We mm -hmm. do not like to be walking around in these. No. So, check this out. The founder of Spanx, which <gasps> is a very successful brand, has created a new pair of shoes for women on the go. It's a pair of high-heeled sneakers. The shoe is on sale now and costs anywhere from $400 to $600 a pair, but this steep cost may be worth it to some people as the shoes made to um, eliminate pain points in your feet are very common when you wear high heels this is supposed to be able to make you wear high heels but in the form of tennis shoes so it's more comfortable I love it I love this too I would totally invest money in buying one of these things I mean I could totally see us rocking this yes instead of like the sock shoes that you oh, are yeah. okay oh, with. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I mean, I think this is like, I they could actually see this have... with yes. pants. I could see this with cute skirts. <gasps> I have an idea. Why don't we start our own shoe line? That would be amazing. It That's should be for like- That's yeah. fabulous. Cause we, we both purchased like the ones that people say are supposed to be more comfortable and they're literally not. No, they're not. no, they're not. And one of my, I purchased Christian Louboutin shoes. Oh, that, those are the worst. So bad. And They're the heel broke. So expensive and they just kill your feet. Yes. And actually I might be onto something here because when I posted that video, it got like 19 million views about the, the Christian Louboutins like breaking yeah. and how uncomfortable they are. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, this isn't going away where girls are going to not wear heels because heels are still um, very much a thing. It makes your yeah. legs look good. It's an elongated look, but like, can we ever find heels that are like actually comfortable? I know. I would love to see that look in more of like a pump. So like yes. a tennis shoe, pump, like- So that we could like wear it. open front, but- Like this that we wear, actually it's the same shoe. It's the Jennifer, uh, what is it, Jennifer? Um, uh, Jessica. Are, are these ones Jessica Simpson? Are they? Uh, no. Yeah, they are. Oh, they are? Okay, Jessica okay, Simpson. These are the, you told me about these. The yeah. other brand was like Sam Edelman. Oh, yeah, they're, I have that too. Yeah, that, that they're good. supposed to be more comfortable. These are pretty broken in, but like after a while, my toes are still feeling very squished. And Who came up with the heel? I like know. the heel, our toes do not go like this. It's not a triangle at the top. 
Not at all. It's just and square toe shoes. We don't we don't do those. No, that's not cute. I guess like men's dress shoes can be pretty uncomfortable and stiff. I don't know like. But they're flat. They are flat. But why can't we just be comfortable in a heel? So I would love to try these. I wouldn't just buy them though. I would have to go try them and yeah, actually. Yeah, because they're expensive. Yeah. Because also, if you are wearing a heel, like you're still putting pressure on the bottom of your, the ball yes. of your foot, yes. and that's not fun. Homegirl Ramisha Shade has all these Christian Louboutin shoes, and they're so pretty. It's so cute. I look she at them all the time. Great. I don't know. She's like she takes them off right afterwards. Actually, she, she does. She wears her UGG boots. UGG boots, that's and she move. has her uh, huge parka. She has her parka like, and yes. UGG boots, but she has amazing Christian Louboutins. I have oh, one pair, and they so kill good. me. Yeah, they, they literally, I cry when I have to wear them. But it's I so wear bad. Them. I suffered through the pain because they're so cute. I always compliment her when she wears them because I know she's she's in pain. I'm in pain. All right, thank you so much for watching another episode of Caroline and Rashi. Yes, this is our therapy. I hope it is for you too. We'll see you next time. Bye.